Today's lesson is on how to actually take out your DSLR camera and start shooting. So I'm going to teach you the basics on how to turn it on, how to change a battery, how to put in an SD card, uh, and some of the, the main buttons on your DSLR. recognize the importance of being able to take good photos. I thought, why not teach you guys how to actually take great photos in the time that you're off on coronavirus lockdown or self-isolation. So over the next couple weeks, I'm going to do a series of seven or eight videos that teach you all the basics on how to use and operate a camera. So when you get your camera, you're going to have to do a few things uh, right off the bat. And the first thing is you'll get your camera and it will have the lens off and you need to be able to put the lens on. Right here we have our camera. The mirror is showing. It's a digital single lens reflux uh, camera. It's a mirrored camera and that is how the actual light goes in and hits the sensor. So the lens is here. And simply, there is a lens release button here, and you have to put the dot, there's a white dot to white dot, and then you twist, and you hear that click. So you want it to take it off, you just press the button, and you hear that click. Uh, you're going to need to know that the battery goes down here, and you have to use your nail, open it up, and your battery should come with a charger as well. Uh, it is um, right here. Just take that out. Put that inside. Snaps in. And there you go. Then you can turn on your camera. And you should see something on the back. You will also need one of these SD cards. Uh, this is a Nikon D3400. It is an excellent camera. It's about $350, $400, and uh, it's everything you need to start shooting. So you open up, there's an SD card slot here on the side. Uh, you want to just open that up and put the SD card in, and you are good to go. When you're setting up your camera, you also want to think about when you're looking through the viewfinder, you may um, see a blurry picture and... All you have to do is change the dioptric adjustment knob. So I'm just going to show you how to change aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. And they're very simple. So right now, I'm just changing the aperture. So the plus minus button and the dial just moves it. If I want to change my, my shutter speed, just use the dial and just go all the way to one side. 1 over 4,000 is a very short amount of time. Here's one second. That's a very long time to take a photo. So it takes a whole second to take a photo. And what's happening is there's a lot of light there. When changing ISO, that's the sensitivity of the camera, how sensitive the camera is to light. You press the I button, then you uh, click on the toggle, go over all the way to uh, where it says ISO, and then you click OK, and it comes to a menu, and you can switch it from 100 to 256,000. There are so many different settings on a DSLR camera, but I'm going to teach you in full manual mode. There is manual, there's aperture priority, shutter priority, and portrait mode, but there's also 
automatic if you want to. You just saw me take a picture and that was on auto. Now the best way to learn how to actually take photos is to understand the exposure compensation. The exposure compensation is how the camera is reacting to the light that is coming into the camera. And that's based on three different things. The three different things are ISO, shutter speed, and f-stop. And I showed you how to change each one of those. My next lesson will be on exposure compensation, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this introductory video to DSLRs. Uh, good luck and uh, happy playing around.